Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to the stream. It's starting a little early, but that's okay. And we are now on part 27 of Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. We are at the end game right now. We have just cleared out the Terra Mutant when we last left off in the uh, back in the Black Omen. So through this door leads the final boss, as you can see. Uh, Looks like a bit of a problem here, because there's our party, though suspiciously Magus is absent, interestingly enough. I guess being the optional party member. Alright, time to take down this crazy woman. Oh, I forgot to... I need to get Isla in our party. Yes, Zeal has an HP to 1 technique. It really sucks. And she can steal MP. Isn't that great? Fortunately, we have two of the heaviest hitters in terms of magic damage, so she's not going to last very long, but Brolo is basically stuck on heal mule duty. Oh, great. And here we go again. Damn it, Zeal. By the way, this is just a warm-up fight. She doesn't actually, you know, do anything nasty other than reduce your HP to 1 and bring your MP. So ideally, you just want to keep your health, or try and stop her before... Or, basically, you want to try and take her out before her next casting of Palatia. Because the end game is a gigantic boss rush. And you'll see what I mean in just a little bit. JRPG without a psychedelic, mysterious battlefield. The Marin Machine actually does uh, do damage. Or will actually try and actively kill you, unlike Zeal, who just simply slows you down and drains you. you heal up because otherwise the man machine is going to do some nasty damage. Fortunately, the man machine is also incredibly slow. 
as you can see by the fact that we just took two full rounds before it even did anything. Basically, you just want to hammer it with magic damage because your um, your physical attacks will just simply boost its defense until you can't even damage it. Didn't really hurt Nathan. Uh, Chrono that much, but Robo took a lot of damage. Now we are at the top of the Black Omen. And this is why I really wish we had Isla with us, because um, Zeal has some very good uh, steals. Her two hands hold a prison helm and a prison dress, so in case you took the... Uh, basically allowing you to get multiples of them. Now, because we brought Magus with us into the final battle with Zeal, he gets a theme music override. Normally, Zeal has her own boss battle music, but because it's the son versus the mother, they decided to special flavor this. Alright, now, Zeal is annoying, because if we try to mass damage her, well, you'll see what's happening. Let's just get this ready. Basically, she nukes all of your MP, and she puts your HP to one as a counterattack. If you massive, er, if you um, if you try and attack her all at once, so you want to focus fire on the head and just ignore the arms. So you want to use your most powerful single attacks. Basically, just focus fire on the head, you know. Now, because we spent all the time getting all of the super broken equipment and armor, she's not really doing a lot of damage to us. Mostly. 
She still has a couple nasty tricks here and there. But especially for, um... Robo is pretty much going to be the one taking the most damage because he doesn't have all... He doesn't have the best armor that Chrono and Mavis have. But, you know, just, like I said, focus fire on the head, keep, uh, and keep up the damage, and eventually she will go down. And make sure to be very liberal with the healing, since you know she likes that hit. You don't want to attack her. Now, if you bring uh, Frog and Hilo with you, you can do something very funny after uh, at her. Where basically, when she does her halation to HP to one, um, you can have or you can queue up uh, Frog's Frog Drop and uh, Hilo's Tail Spin uh, or not Tail Spin, uh, Dino Tail. To have her, uh, to basically deal the maximum amount of damage, since they deal more damage the lower the HP of the character, and whoever the third play, uh, party member is can throw a mega elixir to restore everyone to full health after the inevitable um, after the inevitable life shaver and uh, and buster counter attacks. Should be going down in a little bit. I don't remember how much HP she has. It's something ridiculous. I think it's like maybe twenty or thirty thousand. There we go. Unfortunately, May just couldn't get the final blow. Since we beat Zeal? Yeah. She's doing something really stupid. of the Black Omen, Lavos awakens prematurely. So now we have yet another boss rush. This time we are refacing the bosses we fought before. Lavos basically summons the uh, bosses you've already faced in previ uh, previously in the game. Um, it gives you, uh, fortunately, it is kind enough to give you a moment to uh, prep your party. Uh, also, they have not been boosted in any way, shape, or form. They are exactly the same as when you first encountered them, including health. So, the first several fights are basically just going to be one round, or even one turn kills, because... yeah. You shouldn't even really need to do any kind of healing. Now unfortunately, at this point in the game, you will not receive any further XP or tech points, so me having Robo here without all of his techniques, mm, not as useful. 
So next we have the Hecron, who you remember is a magic-only boss. Oh look, we have two of the most powerful magic users in our party. The only way this would be even more unfortunate for him is if Luca was involved. And if we don't care, we're going to punch him. Now we have Zumbor! Who, as you remember, half is weak to light and shadow, the, or light and uh, fire, the other half is weak to shadow and water. So, oh look, we're just going to destroy it. Alright, we're going to need to feed Mavis and Ether after this fight. But that's fine. And Chrono's probably going to run no sir. And now we have Masa and Moon. Alright, so let's go ahead and toss Magus and Ether. Once again, just continuously spam your most powerful attacks because this is just a warm up for the actual real fights. And you'll know when the real fight starts. Okay, now we get to fight Nice Bell. Now it only uh, Lavos only copies the main storyline bosses. Uh, up until the Black Omen. So, uh, you will not encounter Black Omen bosses. Also, uh, it's only end bosses of each area, so you won't see Ozzy Fleer Slash. Instead, you will see, uh, but you will, you will actually copy Magus. I believe that is the next fight. I'm not sure. Magus, so... Which is actually really fortunate we brought Magus with us, so we can always hit his weakness. Alright, actually, we want Robo to test the fire. If he's weak to lightning, we're just going to smash him. Uh, nope. Oh, now he's in just, uh, now he's in full charge. Oops, crap. Oh, now he's in lightning mode. Just... Alright, alright. Oh no, I have to heal. Oh darn. Actually, let's make sure he doesn't barrier change in response first before I actually slam him again. Alright, so he's not barrier changing, so we'll just hit him with another lightning shot, and that should kill him. Nope, one more hit should do it. He's still weak to lightning! Mm. Oh, 
Really? Did you die already? There we go. Alright, so let's see. Who are we up against now? Now we're up against Azala and the Black Toronto. This time, though, we have Luminaire, so Azala is going to go down in like the time flat. Before that, though, let's go ahead and. We've got plenty of Mega Elixirs. So let's go ahead and spend them. Obviously, Azala being a Tyranno, you want to spam Lightning at it. And just like in the original fight with Azala and the Black Tyranno, the Black Tyranno takes almost no damage until Azala is taken out. Okay, Azala is dead. Now let's go ahead and wait for the Black Tyranno to decide to drop its health, or drop its barrier. There we go. And once again, we just start spamming the hell out of it. And we should actually be able to uh, kill it before it, or before it goes and does its fire breath attack. Next up is the Giga Guy. I really... Well, actually, you know what? We are going to take out Robo, and we are going to get Isla. Um, because of... Oh, first. Let's go ahead and heal... Oops. Don't need to waste ethers. Alright, the reason why, Falcon hit will let us hit all three parts at the same time. And this will allow us to take out the arm pieces super fast. Also does copy the steals of the boss. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Now 
unfortunately, once again, he gives us a chance to heal, which we will take full advantage of. And actually, we want to switch our party once again. This time we want Marl and Luca because of their triple or their dual tag. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll restore them. Remember, this was an attack that killed us the first time we encountered him. Now it's not nearly as bad. So I should have grabbed uh, I should have grabbed the silver stud from Magus and given it to Luca. Because now we get Antipode Three, which is Flare plus Ice Two. It's basically about as strong or stronger than Dark Matter. Life too, which is uh, full heal or raise and full heal. So very useful. Defeated the four face of llamas. And now we venture into Lavos's shell. Which looks suspiciously like the uh, 65 million BC. Let's go ahead and heal up. We've got a handy dandy save point so we can uh, so that we can save. Now, as you can see, there is also a uh, time portal here. You can use this to escape Lavos in case you need to go and get supplies. If you want to go do a little, a few extra side quests, because even though we are at the end game, if we head straight north, as you can hear by the rapidly quickening heartbeat. Through there is the final boss, but that's going to have to wait for the next video. Um, so we'll go ahead and set up our party. As you can tell, it's even overriding the normal character change music. So obviously we're going to keep Chrono because Chrono, you know, is a ridiculously massive damage user. Um, and then we'll take Frog and Magus with us. Actually, no. We'll take Luca. So, let's go ahead and save. Alright guys, see you in the next video when we take on Lavos and finish the game. Be right back.